Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so in this lecture, I'm going to talk about uh, rectangular and polar forms of complex numbers. Okay, so in a normal situation, a complex number, yeah, can be expressed as either the rectangular form, rectangular form, or the polar form. Okay. Now, basically, what rectangular form means is that rectangular form tells you uh, how you would plot your um, your complex number on the argon diagram using Cartesian coordinates. So, for example, uh, go uh, well. Normally, a complex number takes in the shape of a plus b i, right? So, rectangular form tells you to go. Say, for example, uh, go a amount uh, left or right left or right and then go B amount uh, up or down yeah so this is using the uh, the Cartesian coordinate the X and Y coordinate okay now the polar form tells you okay tells you that okay extend so extend to length length r which is my radius okay and then and then rotate by theta amount don't worry i'll show you what these mean in a moment okay so in order for us to uh, express complex number in a polar form we need to have two things okay we need to have the modulus of z which is denoted by that or the argument of z so argument which is denoted by this okay the modulus means the absolute distance from your origin to your complex number okay so that means it is the distance okay and this means the angle right so uh, whenever we we want to convert rectangular form into polar form the first thing that we must do uh, and I stress that must we must do is that we have to plot our Z on the argon diagram okay or or the argon plane so must plot on argon diagram so for example if I have W is equals to um, let's say 3 minus 3i okay now the other diagram is just simply it's just simply a, a plane with real and complex numbers so this is the real number and that's the imaginary number okay now the imaginary number that's where the i goes okay so we have uh, 3 negative 3 and we have 3 here okay so this is my on the plane this is my w okay so this is my w and I should draw it like that okay now this is my so this one is my rectangular form yeah now how do I exp express that using polar form well polar form I need to do two things okay so this is my angle yeah so if I make this R this this length here from here to here is R well, what is the distance of r? Well, r is just equals to 3 square plus 3 square, square rooted, yeah? So that will be equals to 4.24, 4.24, okay? So that means it is from here, from this distance all the way to this distance, okay? Now, the angle is, if you just look at a, a just a simple triangle, okay? Now, this is my 3, this is 3, this is my theta, then therefore uh, 10, negative, uh, inverse of 10 of 3 over 3, that will just be uh, power for 4, or 45 degrees, okay? Now, how do I express uh, the, the horizontal distance, the horizontal part, with the vertical parts, okay? So the horizontal part, uh, this one let's call this uh, the horizontal part and this one's the vertical part so the horizontal part 
is equals to what? It's equals to cos r cos theta. Yeah, well, the vertical part is uh, r i sine theta. Yeah, it's I should include the i because I'm on the vertical axis now. Okay, and the polar form is the combination of these two. Okay, so I know my r is, is to be 4.24. I know my theta is equals to 4, uh, it's equals to pi over 4. So I can simply write that as w is equals to 4.24 cos of pi over 4 plus i 4.24 sine pi over 4. Okay, now this takes a long time to write, okay? So we're just going to simply put um, this. So R, so we, we factorize out the, my R, so it's 4.24. And we make that just cis pi over 4. So cis it consists of, so basically cis is just basically uh, cos theta, or uh, cos theta plus I sine theta. Okay, so that's, that should be a theta here. Okay, which is a shorthand. So, therefore, my polar form of three plus uh, three minus three i that converts to four point two four cis pi over four. Okay, now here's a very tricky part, and you should always remember this. Okay, now this angle. So if I'm going this way. If my angle is calculating uh, clockwise, then the angle is negative. Okay, the angle is negative. If I calculating my angle in the positive uh, manner, which is the anti-clockwise, my theta is always going to be positive. Okay. So this is a negative theta. This is the positive theta. Okay. So that means that this. Because I'm calculating my degree in the opposite direction, which is the clockwise, these angles should be all negative. Okay, so these should be all negative. Does that make sense? So these are all negative. Why? Because my angle is from clockwise direction. I'm I'm taking my my I'm taking my angle in the clockwise manner. Okay, and it always has to be starting with this x here. It always has to start with the positive x direction, and then you start to measure. Okay, so this is my angle. Uh, it is clockwise, therefore it's negative. Okay, now I can always convert this into a positive degree. Okay, because my my w lies here. Well, if this is forty five degrees, this must be forty five degrees as well, right? So it's actually this angle plus 45 so 4.24 cis of uh, pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 2 so that will be 5 uh, 4.24 cis of 7 pi over 2 uh, over 4 okay guys uh, so the key thing is that whenever you need to convert uh, a rectangular form into a polar form, you should always uh, draw it out on the argon diagram. You should always draw it out on the argon diagram. So this is the argon diagram, okay? And you so you plot it and you decide whether or not you want your your theta to be positive or negative, okay? So if again, if you if you're calculating your angle using this direction, then it's always negative. Okay, it's always negative, and if it's calculated using this direction, it's always going to be positive. Okay, so this is the negative, negative theta, and this is the positive theta. Okay, now let's do an, another simple example. Z is equals to negative eight. Okay, simple, uh, doesn't have any complex parts. It uh, doesn't have any imaginary parts. Okay, and I need to convert that into a polar form. Okay, polar form. So again, whenever I need to do, uh, when I need to convert rectangular form into polar form, I always need to draw it out on the argon diagram, right? So when I draw it out on the argon diagram, this is my real axis, this is my imaginary axis. Negative eight is here. Okay. 
So without doing any calculation, I know that R is going to be, well, it's going to be 8, right? So R is going to be equals to 8. Well, what about my argument? My argument is just going to be from, from here, from my real positive axis to here, which is pi. So therefore, I can say uh, my argument, my argument of Z is equals to pi. So therefore, Z is equals to 8 cis pi. You see how easy it is when you draw it out on the argon diagram? It makes everything very clear. Okay? It doesn't have to, uh, whenever you're doing polar forms, it doesn't have to have, the. I mean the complex number doesn't always have to have uh, imaginary parts. This can be done on just a real number uh, as well. Okay guys, so, so this should this can also be 8 cis negative pi because if I if I go from here uh, if I go from here to here that's negative pi yeah so they are they they are equal the same thing so these are interchangeable you can use this or you can use this it's, it's up to you okay so I hope you guys understand and uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to question me on the discussion board and I'll get back to you as soon as possible